Um, so the jaw crushers are typically used in hard rock, um, round rock, sand and gravel, limestone. Um, they're used in recycle as well. Uh, but basically jaw crushers are used in all industry, sand and gravel, it's quite common. Like I say, all the granite, the material consistencies drive it. Um, we use them in recycle because of the fact that a jaw is almost a bulletproof piece of equipment and it doesn't take, it doesn't get the damage that an impactor or a cone will. Very few people will use a cone crusher in recycle. They're just too susceptible to damage. The jaw crushers typically have a 10 to one reduction ratio. So if you have a 30 inch opening, you probably have a minimum closed side setting of three inches. So you don't want to go any closer than that. Now that's a, that's between the tip and the tip of the corrugations of the jaw dies. Our crushers have an inch and a half stroke. Some crushers have one inch stroke, some have inch and a quarter. We have it at the Pittman and at the toggle plate, which give it, make it much more aggressive than some other crushers. Most of like the KPIs, Metzos have upgraded to inch and a half stroke, but some of the other ones, Telsmith and uh, Pegs and Terex still are an inch and a quarter or one inch. So that means that you lose productivity for each. The difference between an inch and a quarter stroke and an inch and a half stroke is 20% improved production through the crusher. Doesn't matter which one it is. Into with jaw crushers, a short jaw is not as aggressive at grabbing the material and bringing it down, whereas a long jaw is very aggressive. But the deeper the jaw, the better the reduction, the better the throughput of the crusher of finished material. So, our 4248 is one of the best in the industry for that because it is a really deep crusher. So, with each because it's so deep, you get more cycles and the material gets a better reduction, better gradation when it comes out the bottom compared to a shorter jaw crusher. 